All right, so you got enough beer? Mm -hmm. You got enough beer? All right, we'll go ahead and have a seat. Pick a seat. All right. I'll sit right here. Okay. What are you drinking there? Yeah, what do you Heineken. got? Heineken. Heineken? Yeah, Heineken. I got the Imperial. It's the local one. Okay. So. You are recording now? Oh, yeah, we're recording. Oh, yeah. We're always recording. Okay. <laughs> My name is Tomás Zumblad. Uh, I live in Argentina. I am Argentinian and I work for Advanta Seed. Um, my role is uh, to be the TD coordinator for the region. So how long have you been in that current position? Mm, this position, two years. Two years? Um, and prior to that, I was the, the TD manager and marketing manager for the local business. Okay. Uh, since uh, 2016. So, so, so how did you get started in this career? My career? <laughs> good, good question. Uh, because it's a little bit of my story, my life story, you know? Because uh, when I was a kid, I lived in, in a farm until I was six. Then we moved to the city, but I continued to to visiting the, um, some farms, uh, family farms, mm -hmm. from my grandfather's. So every summer vacations, we went there with all my, my cousins. So I learned to love the, this activity during my, my whole life. So you got your career started um, kind of following a passion you developed as a child. Yes, I, I al always knew that I, was, uh, I wanted to be an agronomist, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. So I feel that uh, in agriculture, a lot of people have kind of a driving passion that drives them into that field. I don't think many people happen upon agriculture as a career. Is that kind of what your experience has been or have you had a different one when you interact with colleagues around the world? No, I, I see that uh, there are different, you know, uh, personal profiles or stories, story lives that uh, led uh, different people to, to get into this career. I, I know, I have many friends that uh, never went to a farm prior to, uh -huh. to being a, an engineer. So I think that um, this career is very attractive to, to those people who love the, um, the farms, farming, agriculture, you know. Um, that, that culture, there's a lot of culture to it, yes. being part of that, yes. that whole process. Part, yes. So, um, people ask me a lot about, you know, being an agronomist and more often than not, what is that? Um, is there something about your job of how you would describe what you're actually trying to accomplish in a real short, direct way? Um, and, and how you would describe your role within the company of what you're trying to accomplish? Ah, yes. Uh, first of all, I, I, I enjoy a lot doing my job. Mm -hmm. I love my job. This is the first thing. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, and I, my dream is to transmit this uh, passion to others. Mm -hmm. And also, why not some knowledge or, mm -hmm. or experience to others. So I feel happy when I work with people that finally uh, feel happy also uh, doing this job because I love this job, this, uh, this career and this, this company because uh, working in Advanta is also is it's a very uh, nice place to work, no? Yeah, and, and I'd have to agree 100% with that. In your role, you get to travel all over. Yeah. Um, do you feel that you get anything personally, like a benefit of being able to see the world and see agriculture around? Does that give you some self-fulfillment or, or what drives you in order to put up with the long flights around the world and everything else? The first thing that I am trying to do is to learn because uh, uh, every in, every year is different to the other in terms of agriculture. It's, it's very difficult to repeat uh, certain conditions. Everything changes from year to year. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to predict the, the interaction between the 
genetics and environments, this is a very interesting job to do. But uh, traveling all over the region allowed me to learn more about the, those kind of interactions, but especially to learn about the different cultures, different ways of doing things. No, that is my main, uh, I would say, driver to to get a flight and go to another <laughs> country because uh, it takes it also means a, a big sacrifice no in terms of family your your personal things that you leave behind but uh, on the other hand you i receive a lot much more that i i am leaving because uh, i i learn a lot so the, that learning uh, allow me to transmit later that learning to another geography telling people uh, how farmers uh, are doing things in other parts of the world, no? Mm -hmm. So in all these travels, to kind of break up kind of uh, where we're going uh, in this conversation, is there any wild, crazy things that have happened to you while you're traveling, just unexpected plane delays or anything like that? Know, that, that happens. <laughs> is there that anything happens. that really jumps out at you recently that might have happened that would be memorable? Memorable, yes, when uh, last year that I planned a, a trip to Dubai, I had a meeting over there. And I only knew that I was able to, to go to Dubai, but I, I had no idea how I was able to come back because all the, the flights were canceled. So and that was not was just a one way. But that was not just because of the weather. That was because not that, the COVID not, that regulations. That was because of COVID. Yes. yes. So uh, that was a one way uh, trip. <laughs> so I, I, I remember hearing stories from our Arge Argentine uh, group that they were coming to the States for different meetings and they it was a lottery if they were going to be home in yes, time. We never knew. <laughs> so that uh, shows you our passion to do our work because uh, with that kind of uh, uncertainty of uh, coming back home, ha having the possibility to come back, we decided to to go uh, away anyway. No, so uh, but it was very funny also because uh, <laughs> you need to find out, find out the way to, to come back to your home. No, <laughs> yeah. Was, Is there has there been any memorable customers or farmers that you've dealt with over the years that uh, made an impression on you? Uh, customers, ah yes, of, of course. Uh, Is there anyone that comes to mind? Yes, uh, it's, um, to me it was I was very impressed of uh, one customer in, in Ecuador that in the land region they they do uh, an incredible job uh, positioning the our products. Um, they were able to capture, I would say, more than fifty percent of market share. <laughs> Oh wow! With our products, uh, thanks to the genetics, our support, but also, of course, his work. No, they, they are, very hard worker. Yes, they are doing an amazing job over there. Oh, uh, that's it's very impressive. So, is there anything that you would say to, you know, someone that may be in a different career and maybe fascinated by agriculture? We reach a lot of people through social media these days, uh, or maybe someone younger that hasn't chosen a career of why agriculture is important or a career in agriculture might be important. Is there any parting words you might have for uh, someone like that? Uh, you mean a message to that people? To yeah, to those, those people. Okay. My message would be that uh, this career is kind of, uh, we are working, uh, trying to feed uh, people, to, 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 food, uh, to, to make food no, for the people. No? Yeah. This is uh, the, the end. Uh, goal for our activity now to, to produce uh, food for the world mm -hmm. so uh, this is a very I don't know the, the world is noble I don't know it's a very um, it's a noble profession it's a noble profession you know actually during the COVID mm -hmm. uh, outbreak uh, our activity was allowed to move free in the country while our activities were in house, they couldn't uh, move <laughs> because we are producing food for yes. people. No, very so, much. Uh, I think that uh, it's a very noble uh, career. It's uh, it's, uh, it's very attractive. Well, I want to thank you for letting us come to your home country. We're here in Tandil, Argentina. The views have been beautiful. But uh, salute.
Salud. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you very much. That's it.